Hi, my name is Ami Magani. I work for Progression Technologies. I'm going to show you how to import uh, a DXF into SOLIDWORKS and make that into a 3D part file. So first I'm going to go to File Open and open this DXF file that I have. And I get prompted with this import window. Um, and I'm going to choose the radio button to import to a new part. And I want to, I want the 2D sketch. That's what I'm going to start with is the 2D sketch. And then I have some options in this document settings window. I'd like to add constraints. And then I can also select layers. So in this case, I don't want the title block. I don't need that. So I want to deselect it. So I'm going to go to selected layers. And I assume it's on the format level. But as you can see, it doesn't look like it if I deselect zero it takes away all of it so I'm gonna have to do that manually um, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit next and this is where I can kind of zoom out and remove the entities I don't want to import so I'm just gonna do a rubber band select I'm just hitting the delete key uh, you can also click on this button that says remove entities I'm also going to delete this isometric view because I don't need that, um, not for this exercise. Okay, I'm going to finish. And when it says enable the explode box uh, blocks option, I'm going to say no. So now I have uh, three, three sketches all on the same uh, sketch plane. It's all on the front plane. Um, but don't worry, we're going to fix that. We're going to actually designate each of these as the front, uh, top, and side view. And SOLIDWORKS is going to do some tricks for us. So the first thing SOLIDWORKS will do is put this uh, 2D to 3D toolbar on there for you when you do this exercise. It automatically places that toolbar. If you don't see it, you can right click on the command manager and just select 2D to 3D and you'll see this. The very first button is the front plane. So it wants you to designate which item is the front sketch. So I'm just going to select this item and click on the front sketch button. And you'll see that all the entities turned in, into a gray color. OK, now all the other items have uh, lit up so that you can select the other items and choose. Now the reason they do this is they always want you to designate what is the front plane first before you continue. So now I'll select this item and designate it as the top. Okay, now it left uh, my center mark lines from my AutoCAD drawing, um, but don't worry about that. I'm just going to go ahead and delete that later. And then finally I'm going to select these items and designate that as the right sketch. And this is really cool. It just kind of flips that geometry over for you. So now you can see that we're, uh, we're making progress towards a 3D part. Just quickly delete this. Now I'm going to control select two entities and uh, make them aligned with each other. If you see this, if you rotate, you'll see that the sketch is kind of out of position relative to this top sketch. So I want to align this back uh, face, it'll be a face, um, to this edge. So I just held control and I selected both lines that I want to line up. And I'm going to choose this icon, it says Align Sketch. And it just shifts it over for me. And think everything else looks okay. Now I'm going to exit the sketch and you'll see we have three distinct sketches. So in this case I'm going to start with sketch 4 and I'm going to start my solid body extrusion. So you use the, the icon that says convert to extrusion. Okay so it understands what geometry we want to extrude. Um, so this is where it's tricky. You'll have to go to the from group box and instead of sketch plane we want to choose 
from vertex. Now we can choose a vertex to start. I want to start the extrusion here and then I want to end at this vertex. Okay? So this is probably starting to make sense. The nice thing about this is that you get the immediate preview so you know whether you're doing this right or not. So I'm going to go ahead and right click and click OK. And as you can see I have a solid body. And you can just kind of rotate it just to do these checks and you'll see that your existing sketches overlap in the right place. Okay, now we need to cut that hole through this top face. That's also easy to do. I'm going to pre-select this circle and just select Convert to Cut. And we can choose a surface if we like. Now that we have a solid body, we can choose surface. And then we can choose Up to Next. And that looks right. Just select OK. OK, so now we have a 3D part. It looks exactly like uh, what I wanted it to. And you can just do a visual check uh, just by doing a normal to view. And these existing sketch lines should overlap in the right place. It's just like a visual check. Um, and of course, you don't want to see these sketches after you've created your solid body. So I like to right click and hide, right click, hide and you have a really nice 3D part. Now you can save it and create an assembly using this part. I'm Ami Magani. Thanks for watching our Tech Tip video.